So the two rods support the vertical force of P is equal to 40 kilonewtons. Determine the normal stress in rod AB and BC if they each have a diameter of 20 millimeters. So the first thing that we're going to do is draw a free body diagram to solve for the internal force in both of our rods. Once we've got that, we should be able to perform our stress calculations uh, where we know normal stress is equal to the force divided by the area. And that should then give us uh, one of these answers uh, to the question. So I'm gonna start off with the free body diagram and I'm gonna draw what's happening at this point here. It's like a joint, um, just like a joint of a truss. So we know that the force coming down here is 40 kilonewtons. And then both of these are two force members. So remember that a two force member um, is one that's pinned on both ends. So we can assume that's a pin, that looks like a pin, that looks like a pin. And there's no other forces or moments um, applied um, through the center of these um, members. All right, so definitely two force members. We know that when they're straight, that means the direction of the force is the direction of the member. So this here is at 45 degrees. We can mark that in and I'll call it FAB for the internal force there. And this one's horizontal, so I'll call it FAC. So now we should be able to use our equilibrium equations to find those two unknown forces. So I'm gonna start with summing forces in the y direction to be equal to zero. So we have negative 40 coming down, and we have FAB sine 45 going up. So from this, um, we find that FAB is equal to about 56.6 kilonewtons. And it came out positive, I should mention as well, so that means the direction was correct. And now we can sum forces in the x direction to be equal to zero means we have negative FAC. This is completely in the y direction, so it doesn't contribute. And we have part of this. It's gonna be the cos side of the triangle. So FAC works out to be uh, 40 kilonewtons. So now that we have the internal force in both of our members, we can move on to the stress calculations. So we know that stress, the normal stress, is equal to the force divided by the cross-sectional area of our member. So we're gonna to need to do it separately for each of our members. So for AB, and then we'll do it for AC. So stress for AC, AB, I should say. So we need the force in member AB, and we said that was 56.6 kilonewtons. Now to make sure that we get uh, the units we expect out, I'm gonna convert this into newtons, which means I need to times it by 10 to the three. And then the cross-sectional area, I told that the rods have a diameter of 20 millimeters. So area would then be pi on four d squared. So pi on four 20 squared. This is now newtons divided by millimeters squared, which should give us an answer in megapascals. And that answer is about 180 megapascals. So I'll just shift this over. We need to do it for AC. So the force in that member divided by the area. So AC, we said the force was 40 kilonewtons. Again, to fix our units, I'm gonna times by 10 to the three. And then we divide by the area, which was the same as the previous one. So this comes out to about 127 megapascals. So looking through our list, we're looking for 180 and 127, and that is the first one there. So that's all there is to that question.